Hi. Hi. Who is the driver? You are? Okay. Are you a passenger? Okay. Were they all evaluated and stuff? Oh, they, do they don't want to be evaluated, so as soon as the rescue gets here, we'll sign them, but we're free to Okay, free cool. Alright, um, do you have your driver's license, miss? It's in the car. Okay, if you could show me. Ma'am, if you could just stay over here for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, do you have the registration and insurance? I do not. It's on my car. It's what? It's not my car. Whose car is it? It's her father's. Her father's, but you were driving it? Yeah. Okay. We were just going to Walmart for a second. You were just going to Walmart? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Step over here with me. Just here. Talk to her real quick. Let me... Could you tell us what happened, actually? I was... So, I'm in the middle of trying to buy this car, and... The guy who's trying to sell it to me, he's like putting a lot of pressure on me to buy, like give him the money and take the car, but he was putting a lot of pressure on me so it scared me so I took it to a mechanic and tried to find out if they they seen anything wrong with it, right? Okay. And then I was bringing it back to the house and then, well this is his sister's car actually, but like, and so I had to, I had to go Walmart to get like groceries to eat, right? Mm -hmm. And so we took her car instead, and I was just so freaked out about the whole, like, situation I was going through earlier that I, like, missed a turn a little bit, but I was going too fast. Which way were you going? This way. I was trying to hook this right. Oh, so you went over the median? Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty far back trying to make a turn. Not, not, not terribly, I don't think. Yeah, you're in the middle of the... That's way beyond. I, th I think before I hit, you make a turn. Well, I think I, I can hit see right your, here. I don't think I hit over there. You did. I can see your tire marks right yeah. over the median okay. and yeah. where you swerved. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, the uh, evidence on scene is I've been, kind of not lining up with your story. So. I've been like freaking out. I'm so sorry. Have you? And you are how old? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. How do you know her? Uh, she's my boyfriend sister. Boyfriend sister, and Little this sister. is. This, this is, is her dad's car. Her dad's car. This is the one you were trying to buy? Or no, this is her car. I was trying to buy a different one. Okay. And you guys are coming from Walmart? No, from from her house, yes, but also her house. We want her house, Walmart, and then back. Okay. So, so that's where you're coming from is her we're house. Coming from okay. Walmart technically since okay. the last time we turned the car off. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me like what lane you were in when you we're tried to right make that turn? I think we were in the right lane. Have you had any alcoholic beverages today at all? Nothing like that? Okay. Are you complaining? Do you have any complaints of pain or anything from the crash? Not from the crash, no. What do you have complaints of pain from? I broke my back and shattered my pelvis a year ago. A year ago? Okay. Yeah, so I have shit from that that I'm still having like appointments for and everything, but okay. nothing new, no. Nothing new? Okay. Do no. you have any pain meds or anything? No. No? Okay. So can you kind of explain to me exactly what happened? I know I only caught a part of it, so just kind of tell me what you were doing while you were driving. I was and kind of explain trying to turn and I took it too fast. Okay. You were trying to turn. Onto this road right here? Right up here, and that's up too fast. Okay. okay. And you were coming this way on this road, right? Up this way, try to turn right. Right? You mean... Or, I'm dyslexic, I'm so sorry. I was trying to go this way, up this street. Okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I was trying to go that way. But sometimes, I mean, we want to make sure that, you know, there's not another crash somewhere else or something like that, okay? Yeah. I get it. I'm just like extra stressed because I'm trying to buy this car for my boyfriend's parents, you know, and like my boyfriend's trying to break up with me at the same time. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's just super high stress. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to get some
out by the ambulance, the medics, just to see how things are? Well, I think I'm okay, but okay. she's... They're on their like, way right now, anyway. Remember so. how I said she's my boyfriend's sister? She's younger than me, so I'm worried about her. I'm not worried about me at all. Okay. Like, I know I fucked up and I was upset and I took a turn too fast, but I'm just, I'm worried she got hurt. Okay. Right. We'll ask her if she can get checked out. Because I'm just, I don't want to hurt her. I know that I'm upset and I fucked up. And I'm like, I'll pay for that, whatever, but I don't want to hurt anybody else. So, this is the driver. So apparently they're coming from her friend's house. She was looking at buying this car, I guess. Her story's still kind of off, I guess. They were going to Walmart or something, I think, from what I understand. So you can see the skid marks back there. She's like, yeah, I was going too fast, and I was going to make a right turn. I was like, you made a right turn way too early if that's what you're going to do because she shows her going very clearly over the median from the tire marks. She you could she see what she was going, right? yeah, she yeah, was she going north. So they were oh, I see. Okay. So on the oh, yeah, you road. can see the tire tracks. It'll put the Walmart story together. Yeah. She's acting odd. I don't smell alcohol, but she's kind of slurring her speech. Um, I do see issues with her, like, walking, where it seems like it's, like, that drunk stagger kind of deal. Okay. Her eyes are red. She said in the past she's recovering from, like, a pelvis and broken back, I think. So I was like, did you take any prescription meds? I don't remember if I asked her, but she said no to alcohol. We can ask her about the meds. Okay. I think she said no, but this is her. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what we have so far. So the woman getting checked out by the medics over there, the blonde. Catherine, she goes by Katie. Yeah, yeah. What's our water gas? Yeah. Nice beach, very confused. Uh, Blade responses. Uh, can smell alcohol, beverage coming from the bread. There's an open container, there's an open container uh, in the back left area, right behind the front uh, left seat. Okay, perfect. Smell talk. Hello. Hi. Bob Sarani with the Rurantia Police for me. Your officer who? Hani. One more time. Hani. Honey? Yeah. Okay. The Rurantia Police Department. Can we come back over here so I can talk to you about what happened? Okay, let's walk over here. And you're Captain? Okay. Katie. Yeah. Oh, you go by Katie? Yeah. Okay, Katie. Yeah, I just want us to get away from these rocks and stuff. We can come over here. So... We'll walk back. Go you're, about, you're about a DUI testing, right? I want, I'll talk to you back over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's just well, walk this I way. fell off a ladder. Okay. A year ago, and I shattered my pelvis and broke my spine. Oh, no. So my left leg is a little funny. Okay. So you have a trouble walking on it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Why'd you Why'd you ask if I was going to need to be eye test you? Because I figured, because I fucked up and I hit a median. Okay. It would make sense. if I No, if I was a cop, I would do the same thing. That's why. You just run everybody that crashes their car through field spray tests? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, if you, hit a, if you hit a curb in broad daylight, I'd, I'd test you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So my concern is, is I could smell an odor of alcohol beverage on your person. Oh, yeah. You I smell like alcohol. Yeah, and then, I know. Uh, yeah, okay. And yeah, then there's I... an open container in there. There so, is? Yeah. So oh, just be just okay. be straight up with me. How much yeah, did you have to drink today? I haven't had anything to drink, but I did, like, spill a bottle of Tito's on myself before I left the house. Okay. But I've had, like, issues with alcohol, so I've been in AA for a little while. Uh-huh. Okay. So I don't drink anymore. Okay. Why can yeah. I smell it off your breath? Off my breath? Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I would assume off my clothes you could smell it, but I, I didn't smell off my breath. I breath whenever you're speaking to me. It's, it's oh. like in your facial area. I don't know Do about that Did you have a sip one. earlier? Do you have anything? I mean, like when I spilled it, I kind of dumped it all over like my whole head. Like I was laying down when I spilled the bottle because I was trying to put it up for somebody else. Okay. But I haven't had anything to drink, no. Nothing at all? No. Okay. I'm like... My dad was an alcoholic, and so was my older brother, and I'm really scared of falling into that, so I try not to drink. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So you're, uh, you broke your spine? And your I pelvis? shattered my pelvis, and I broke my spine from the fourth down. Okay. So, okay. like, my so left that... leg looks funny. Okay, that's okay. So you're not able to walk, like, in straight lines and stuff? Like I can walk in a straight oh, line, but it looks funny. Like... Technically, I can walk with a straight line in my right leg, but not in a straight line. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, so I actually have a few questions before we begin the test, okay? If you don't feel comfortable doing the walk and turn in the one leg stand, it's where you have to walk in a straight line. Like I can do that, but I can't stand on one leg on my left leg. But you can on your right leg. 
Yeah. Okay. So once we get to that, I'll uh, ask you, I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate for you, then I'll ask you if you feel comfortable doing that. If okay. you feel comfortable doing it, then you can do that. Okay. Okay. Let's come back over here a little bit. Okay. Um, so have you ever been diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury before? No. No? Okay. No, I didn't have my head. I just broke my back. Okay. Did you hit your head during the crash? No. Okay. Did you erect the point? Yes. Okay. But you didn't hit your head at all? Not the, no. Okay. Um, and then, do you have any medical conditions aside from what you told me that hinders you from having balancing? No. No. Okay. And then, are you wearing any eye contact? No, but I have glasses, but they fell off when I crashed. Okay. Were they in your vehicle? Yeah. Okay. Do you need those to see? Like, are you able to walk in a street line? I cannot have a license without them. Okay. Are you able to see your feet, though, when you walk? Yeah. Okay. Then that's all you'll probably have to see. Yeah. So, what I want you to do is go and put your feet together, heel to heel, toe to toe. All the way, keep your hands out your sides. I just want you to remain in this position during this test, okay? And then you see the tip of my finger here. What I want you to do is follow the tip of my finger with your eyes or eyes only and just keep your head straight for me, okay? Follow my finger. Following it. There you go. Just keep following it. Follow it all the way out. Yeah, just keep your head straight and then follow it as far out as you can, okay? Okay. I have extreme astigmatisms, so like my peripheral vision is a little fucked up. Okay. But like, so from like right here, mm -hmm. I can't see anything. But from like right here, I can see shit, if that makes sense. So I have astigmatism in both, both eyes, and I've had these tests done on me before too. Mm -hmm. I'm still able to kind of gaze out. And look at I, I can see that, that but that. I can't see this. If that makes sense. Like, I can see this, but I can't see this. Okay. Well, just yeah. look out as far as you're able to. Yeah, okay. of course. Okay? Yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm walking down now, okay? Yeah. I'll just stay in that position, feet together. There you go. Just keep your head level. Go up as high as you can. Perfect. Are you able to imagine a straight line on the ground here? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and stand right there. I want you to put your left foot on that straight line. If you go and tie your shoe actually before we begin this, okay? Perfect. So I want you to imagine that straight line is going to be about the width of your shoe. Okay. I want you to put your left foot on that straight line. Okay, do I have to put my foot in front of the other yes, or right. do I have to put it like I'll, next I'll tell you. Just like, put your left foot on that. Is this okay? No, I'll tell you. Okay. Left foot on that imaginary straight line. I want you to put your right foot in front of your left with your heel touching your toe. Yeah. Don't begin walking yet. Yeah, just listen to my directions, okay? okay? I'll tell you when to begin. All I want you to do is get into this position here. Right foot in front of left, heel touching toe. Uh, right foot, not left foot. Yep. Heel touching toe, hands down your sides. I want you to stay in that position until I tell you to begin the test. If you fall out of it, just get back into it, okay? I'm going to demonstrate the test for you, and I'll ask you if that's something that you're able to do, okay? So when I, when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine. Go ahead and get back in that position. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on that imaginary straight line, okay? Go and watch me as I demonstrate for you. One, two, three. I took three just for demonstration purposes. I want you to take nine. On your ninth step, you're going to leave your front foot planted. I want you to use your rear foot to take a series of small steps to turn yourself back around. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps for turning back on that imaginary straight line, okay? Okay, so nine and then nine? Yep. Okay. One, two, Three. And again, I took three for demonstration purposes. You know you have to take nine, right? Yeah. So it's important that don't start yet. I didn't tell you to begin yet. 
So it's important that during this test you look down at your feet, you count out loud with every step, keep your hands down at your sides, and don't stop the test until it's complete and it's into heartbeat, okay? Uh, do, you, do you feel like that's something you're able to do with your physical limitations? Yeah, I do have limited control over my left leg though. Okay. So, I might, like, I'm a little scared. You don't have to be scared. Do you, if, it, if you don't feel like it's something you're able to do? I feel like I can do it, but... Okay. Do you think you'd struggle doing it? Yeah. You would? Okay. Then we don't have to worry about it, okay? So I'll do a couple other alternate tests with yeah, you? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, okay? I want to I wanna do good on the tests, but I don't want to f*** up because of my leg. Okay. No, that's understandable. Okay. Yeah. And I want to give you every benefit of the doubt, so I'm not going to ask you to do something that you're not able to do. Okay. okay? Um, so what's your highest level of education? Uh, Mid-college. Mid-college? Okay. So you know the alphabet and you know... Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is recite the alphabet. Starting with the letter G and ending with the letter T and correct order going forward. G through T. G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U A J K L M N O P Q R S T U Y Z U V. Okay. And then uh, I want you to count backwards, starting with the number 72 and ending at the number 51. So count backwards from 72 to 51. 782? 70, no, 72 to 51. 72, okay. 71, okay. 70, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, okay. 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 74, 75, 70, you know. You know? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Can you open your mouth for me? Do you have anything inside your mouth? Lift up your tongue? Okay. Nothing. You have nothing at all? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands on your back. Okay. So you're under arrest for DBI. Okay. Let's walk over here. You don't have anything on you, right? Nope. Okay. Okay, thank you. This is a bite, a lighter or this is a uh, vapor. Okay. Yeah, good. I was waving. Even Charles fight tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> through the door on the left. Left? Yeah. Up in the left. And then, yeah. And then you can send that wheelchair to the right. So I have to read you something real quick, okay? Go ahead. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest with EBI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit two breath tests to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, a laboratory technician, or a technologist to a Can you slow down a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So Do you mean read, read if, anything? If I deny It's up here, Tisa. You can read it with me if you need to. Uh, my, my vision's not that good. I can't read not it unless I, unless I stand up and go look at it. I can't read it. You can if you want. You, right. I can read it All for right. you. Ready? Yeah. Okay, where are we at right now? So I'm going to read Number, number one. Yeah, listen, you don't have to get all... I'm not, I'm not getting defensive. Uh, I'm just I'm, asking I'm where we're read, at. I'll read it, read it for you real okay. quick, okay? 
So listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You are okay. under arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test, which is the breath test? Or I can pick my own person? So you have the right to choose an additional independent test. So, so I can if, either if you, say you, yes to this or I can wait until somebody I choose says yes. If you refuse to take our test, then then that's it, and you're going to get charged with a refusal. But if you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. Wait, wait, so I'm confused. If I take your test, I can choose somebody to dispute it? No. Or if I don't It's, it's basically take saying test. that if you take our test, you have the right to get somebody here. You can make a phone call to have somebody draw your blood or get another independent test of your own choosing if you want to do that. It has nothing to do with court disputing or anything. It's just about you giving us a breath sample if you choose to do so. And then if Wait, you do... But I'm confused. If I don't choose to do so, can I call somebody else or no? If you, what do you mean if you don't? Like, like what do you need to call somebody else Because the way that I see it, I can either let you do the blood test or I can so let the somebody mm -hmm. I know does the blood test. No, like so you, you can, test, you can so. take somebody yourself if you submit to our test. Wait, so if I say yes, then I can pick somebody else? In, adi in addition to doing in our In addition, test, yeah. but not instead of? No. Why you, not? Because that's, that's the implied consent laws. So you, you would give us a breath sample if you choose to do so, and then you don't have to, but if you want to, you can, on your own accord, I'll give you your cell phone and you make phone calls to get your, yeah. own, your own test done. I want to do that. So you want, you'll give a sample and then you'll, you're willing to do that. Well, so you're, I'm confused because my dad always told me I'm not supposed to let you guys do anything. Okay, and that's completely, you don't have to do any of it. I know, I just, don't, I just don't know what my best course of action is. It's up to you. How about I read you the um, the next section if you refuse, and then you can kind of weigh your options if you want to do it or refuse, okay? Is there a weight of options, though? You can either do it or you, or you don't do it. So I'll read this to you, and then you can make your decision if you want to give a breath sample, okay? Okay. So I cannot force you to take our test, but yeah. if you refuse... It's this one right here. Yeah, I But see if you it. refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you were convicted of court of driving while under the influence, you may also Wait. receive a greater sentence. Wait, so tested. if I tell you no right now, that means you can take away my driver's license? So if, if, you, if you refuse, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a notice of revocation, and then you can put in for an MBD hearing to be able to retain your driving privileges. Wait, so you can say, I want to revoke your license, and then I have no, to I debate don't. it in court? You, you would have an MBD hearing. You have hearing. to say the government doesn't want you to have a license, and then I have to debate that in court? No. I'm telling you that if you refuse, you will have an MBD hearing, and then it's going to be heard by a hearing judge, and then they make the decision whether or not to keep your license if you refuse. So I'm right what I said. About mm -hmm. Like, if I say that I want an MBD hearing, then that means I have to wait until they decide that I can have my license? You'd still have your license until the hearing, and then you, you would just drive like normal. You have your driver's license with you. It's not like you can't drive after today. But then once that hearing happens, if you, you know, then they'll decide from there. I'm so confused because one of my friends, she just got a DUI and she said that like, well, she got a DUI, but she like got it on purpose. Honestly, I'm going to say, because she like crashed into like somebody's house and then she tried to drive away, but she got called on both DUIs and like, I just, I don't know how I'm going to get to work tomorrow, and okay. if well, I right can't get to work let's tomorrow, see. then I'm kind of fucked. Okay, well, I'll give you your phone so you can make some phone calls, yes, okay? please. But, let's take this in baby steps first. Okay? Yeah, I What we need to do right now steps. is, I can read this to you again, but you need to make a decision whether or not you're going to get a breath test. Yeah, I'm going to a breath test. Okay. But so I, you... want, I want my dad to be here. Okay, well, we can't get him here right now. Oh, it's, if you're an adult. give me your phone and I call him, yeah, you can. Okay, well... You need to call him before you make a decision. Well, but then you have to give me my phone. Okay. Well, right now you're in you're in handcuffs, and I'm not going to take you handcuffs. I put you in a holding cell. That's 
Okay, put me in a so, holding cell and give me my phone. Okay. And are I'll you, call my dad. Okay, are you wanting to do the test? If you let me call my dad, yeah. I'll let you call your dad, but we need to oh, finish this yeah. first. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to give you your phone so you can make your phone Oh, okay. Possible. I just, I've, no, I've I'm, never I'm, done this before. No, that's okay. I scared. just want to get all this taken care of, and then I'm going to give you your phone. You can make whatever phone calls you need to do, okay? Um, just, we just need to get through this, okay? Um, okay. So okay. you you understand everything that I read you, right? Yeah. Okay. And knowing all that, you agree to give a breath sample. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and take a seat. Um, this will be ready here in a little bit. Once we knock this out, then I'll bring you back there. I'll take the handcuffs off, and I'll give you your phone so you can make some phone calls, okay? So this is your own mouthpiece. Fresh out of, this is your own mouthpiece that you'll be blowing into. So this is fresh out of the wrapper for you. And if you want to step up over here. Have you ever blown into one of these before? No. Okay. All you do is you put your mouth around the mouthpiece here. You're going to take a deep breath, but you have to blow into it like you're blowing into a balloon. So the machine requires pressure, yeah. okay? Yeah. So just go and blow into it until you stop. Blow, blow into it. You're not blowing into it. Oh, I'm sucking my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> blow. Blow in the machine. You're not blowing into it. There you go. Keep blowing. That, that means you're blowing into it. Yep, keep going harder. Here, go and stop. You need to take I a deep breath. I have asthma, sorry. You? Okay, we'll just take a deep breath and yeah, you can blow into it hard. I'm trying. Okay. okay. There you go. Keep going, 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 keep going. Keep going. Yep, keep going. That means you're doing it. Take a deep breath. You can blow into it hard. There you go. Keep going. 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 You're almost there. Keep going. Do it again. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. You need to blow into it harder. There you go. Here, put your mouth all the way around it. I'm maxing it out. I promise you. Okay. That's you're not even blowing into it. I'm watching it. Keep blowing. Keep going. Keep going. Keep harder. Keep going. There you go. Go and take a seat. You okay? Yeah, I need tissues. Okay. I have snot dripping on my face. Okay. That's all. I'll get it for you. You're just going to do that one more time, and then I'm going to take you to the handcuffs and get you a tissue, okay? Okay, one more time. Yeah, it'll, the faster, it'll go faster. Snot all over my face. Okay. I don't want to try on the harness. Okay. The faster, or the harder you're able to blow into it, it'll receive a sample quicker, okay? Go in, blow, blow hard into it. Like in, like in, there you go, yeah. Keep, here, come on, stop. You're like having air coming out the side of it. Yeah, put your mouth, like blow into like it like all, a balloon. Like the whole thing, like it's a yeah. balloon. Yeah, but, like yeah, you said, like, yeah. But you're, sometimes you're doing it, sometimes you're not. You need to blow hard into it. Okay. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go and take your mouth off of it. Take a deep breath. And then just blow into it harder. Okay? You're blowing off the side of it. And if you purposefully don't blow into it, then you can still be charged with a refusal, okay? So I need you to take a deep breath. Stop. Take a deep breath. Put your mouth all the way around it and blow harder in the machine, okay? Keep going. There you go. Keep going. Blow hard into it. Keep going. Blow into the machine. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you're near. Here, go and stop. Do it like you did the first time, okay? Yeah, like, like the whole you're thing. You're not really blowing into it, though, because it doesn't require that much pressure by blowing into this before. Okay. okay? I, I, I never have. I know, but you did it right the first time. You just need to, okay, when, it's, when it's producing a tone, that means you're blowing hard enough into it. When, when the it tone beeps, stops, yeah. When it doesn't beep, that means you're not even blowing into it, okay? Okay. Go ahead. You're almost done. There you go, keep going, there you go, keep going, 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 you're almost there. There you go, you can stop. Go take a seat. Thank you.
These are your breath results. So you provided two breath samples. Your first sample was a 0 0.21, and then your second was 0 0.19. So you know, they give you your 0 0.08, right? Okay. So you're over twice the legal limit. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So I got all your paperwork done. I'm going to go. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Just chill for a second, okay? Here's all your paperwork, okay? It's really important that I go over this with you. Okay. This form. This is a notice of revocation. Okay? So you still have your driver's license, okay? You can still drive. Just keep this paperwork with you. So the instructions are right here to file for your hearing. So this is what you need to do. If you don't do this, you have 10 days from today's date to file for the hearing. If you do not file for the hearing... So if I don't do this in 10 days, I get my license revoked? Yep, there you go. Word. Okay. And then if you get pulled over, you're going back to jail. In 10 days, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So it's okay. better just to get put in for the hearing if you're able to? Yeah, I can and do then, that. I can okay. do that in 10 days, obviously. Sweet. It's no problem. Can I please have my shoes and go home? Yeah, go ahead. Normally I take people to jail, so this is kind of helping you out. But yeah. I'm letting you go because you said you wanted an independent test, right? Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah. Okay. I stepped in somebody's pee in there, by the way. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I'll let you know. And um, now okay. i got to walk around in a piss-covered sock okay. for the next hour. So fix that. I don't I'll, clean. I, I, I know you don't. That, yeah. but like, I'll let him know. I know, I know you don't. I'm going to call your boss and tell him to yell at whoever cleans. But okay. that's, Do a better job. that's inhumane. Okay. Oh, don't forget your earrings. Never. My great-grandma gave them shits to me, that's dude. That's awesome. You can put all your stuff in that bag. You can take that bag if you want. It's easier. No, I don't need to. Okay. Um, can I use your phone to call where my boyfriend I'm, is I'm at? I'm walking you to him. You are? Okay, yeah. you know where yeah. he is? Yep. Okay. Yeah, cool. just go to follow me. No, you're good. I'm going to take you over there. I was like, maybe you got to help that shit hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like when you're sitting there. Come this way. Okay, go. Hey, I don't know where I'm going. I'm following you. Yeah, I want you to walk in front. I'll tell you where to go. Mm -hmm. I come through this door and we're going to hang left. Come down here, we're going to hang around. busy right now. What up? Sorry, I think he's busy. Yeah. <laughs> never busy Sorry, for you. He, he's busy. Yeah, never busy enough. Oh, I, I right. thought you were at work right now, honey. I am at work. Well, then... You have friends at work? No, not, not when people's lives are on the line, dear. Your lives on the line? I mean, getting arrested is kind of important, though. You're getting released? So, regardless, do you not think this freaks people out? Maybe yes a lot bigger. Do you not think this freaks people out? More if I took it to jail, right? Well, You're being released. Yeah, but... Imagine you've never done this shit before. Would you not be freaked out? Yeah, of course. Yeah, then hee hee ha ha. Hi, buddy. How you doing? A Is little bit unprofessional. Okay. Is What's he over your here? name? It's all over your paperwork. Oh, tell me anyway. Officer Alexander Hani. Alexander what? Hani? Alexander Hani? How do you spell it? Uh, H-A-U-G-H-N-Y. Right here. It's on your paperwork. I'm going to take a picture anyway. Oh, I can't. Hani. Okay. It's all over Good. your paperwork. Thank you. Bye.